So this is yet another episode about uh, our uh, questions in mind that we have while refitting the boat. And uh, we spoke about a few other things in the past, but this time uh, it's the question of which anti-fouling to use. And uh, specifically, we have this idea about using copper coat. Uh, so those of you who uh, know anything about it or have direct experience, you're most welcome to uh, uh, make comments and let us know what is it that you want to tell us. What are you happy or not happy with it? Let's talk about that. Hey guys, uh, today I'd like to talk about anti-fouling. Uh, it's uh, one of the biggest decisions for any of the boat owners and I'm hoping that there's quite a few of you uh, in uh, our fan base that can share with us uh, your experiences. And I would specifically be very appreciative for your uh, comments on copper coat. Uh, I've been pulling my hair out and not sleeping well for the last few days uh, trying to get as much uh, information about uh, copper coat and we have just about the entire scale of opinions uh, on this one all the way from uh, some people claiming it not working at all all the way to people saying that after five years their boat is clean so uh, uh, it's been my um, gut feeling that uh, a lot of the not working at all may be due to the fact that it hasn't been uh, properly activated before being put in the water. Uh, and that seems to be the case. So, um, for those of you who are not familiar with the whole idea of anti-fouling is, um, you see this line over here? This is about how far we go with the water, give or take. Um, you, do, uh, you paint uh, the boat with the anti-fouling all the way to just above the water line. Um, give or take uh, 10 centimeters or so, maybe four inches. Uh, so that uh, all the stuff that normally grows, you know, like green algae and barnacles and whatnot, doesn't grow. Because if it does grow, then the boat gets slower and slower and slower. Eventually it's completely uh, unable to sail well and it has to be uh, taken out of the water and it has to be scraped and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a, for us, it's a very, very expensive process. So having said that, there are a few considerations that are different for this boat than for most other boats. Uh, one that I just said is that this boat is extremely wide and uh, it's to almost 12 meters wide. So for us, arranging the um, a lift uh, is a, a complicated and expensive process. And it's uh, in a lot of places in the world, it's pretty much impossible. So um, having said that, the probably the most um, uh, important parameter in choosing our anti-fouling is the time uh, how long it works it doesn't have to be perfect because I don't think any anti-fouling is perfect meaning every anti-fouling works better or worse but needs some sort of cleaning sooner or later and I don't mind underwater cleaning, cleaning at all uh, I do mind having to clean the boat every week uh, if I have to clean every few months I'm just fine with it and if it doesn't require scraping with a scraper and if it just requires you know a, a, a soft touch with a rug or something and everything comes off I'm happy that's fine um, uh, so if we can get away with anti-fouling that's at least good for five years and uh, that requires cleaning the boat underwater every few months that is the top of my dreams uh, if that's achievable. Um, having said that, ablative uh, paint, I don't know if my 1500% level of heavy metals in my blood is due to the fact that I constantly clean this boat underwater and I am in a cloud of heavy metals. Maybe, who knows? I'd like to experiment with something different that doesn't necessarily uh, lead me to the idea that that may be the case. Uh, so hence I arrived with uh, a new 
idea of either trying the copper coat or trying the silicone. I don't know if I'm right, uh, 100%, but the, re the most recent uh, info that I read on silicone is that it's only good for about two years. At least that's what official number, f number from Hempel is. Um, maybe there are other silicone based uh, uh, paints, antifouling paints, that are uh, much longer, much better, who knows. That is something that I'd like to ask you. Maybe you have some experience in that. Um, uh, same goes for copper coat. Uh, again, if you can uh, tell me what are your experiences, uh, perhaps we can uh, we can be uh, we can be convinced to use the copper coat. Uh, maybe there are some plus pros and cons of silicone uh, based stuff that will outweigh the copper coat. Who knows? Um, for now, my uh, preliminary idea is that the silicone is very hard to remove afterwards. Maybe that's not true. Who knows? Maybe there are, there are some other ways, technologies that allow it to be removed easier. Um, in any case, <clears throat> those are the parameters that we're up against. Our biggest thing, again, is lifting the boat out as rarely as possible. So, uh, so far we've had for five years we have ablative paint and uh, like I already mentioned I'm not sure if that could be a case with me having so many heavy metals uh, uh, in my blood uh, who knows maybe does maybe that's the source maybe not but I would like to experiment with a different paint uh, that would give me a chance to uh, to, to see if that's the difference um, also I, I don't I'm not a big fan of ablative to the to the same uh, for the same reason that it also releases toxins into the into the environment and we try to be as echo mm -hmm. as possible here um, so I think the copper coat uh, is definitely here a better choice and probably silicone is much better choice. Uh, but then the question is about the technology. Um, we, as you know, we, as most of you know, we, we sail mostly in warm waters where anti-fouling, uh, where fouling is even more of a, uh, more of a uh, issue, uh, especially when you end up, uh, you know, in the Caribbean and, and something that warm. Uh, things tend to grow uh, extraordinarily fast. Um, uh, so please, <laughs> please let us know what do you think, uh, what are your experiences. We'll appreciate any, any direction in that regard. Thank you guys. Remember subscribe, hit the bell uh, with notifications all and uh, leave comments, leave likes and we'll see you in the next one. Os segredos vêm da floresta de luz pra te amar, pra te amar. Abre a consciência dos seus filhos a crescer.